Understanding the phrase, out to grass. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the interesting phrase, out to grass. This idiom has a vivid imagery behind it, and we'll unpack its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Let's dive in and expand our English vocabulary together. When someone says something or someone is out to grass, they mean that the person or thing is retired or no longer active in their usual role. It's often used to talk about people who have retired from work or an object that is no longer in use. This phrase paints the picture of an animal, like a horse, being retired from work and sent to pasture to relax for the rest of its days. The phrase, out to grass, originates from the rural practice of letting working animals, like horses or oxen, live in a pasture once they are too old to work. This is a kind gesture, allowing them to live comfortably without labor. It's a metaphor that has been adopted into the English language to refer to retirement or ceasing an active role in any capacity. How do you use this phrase correctly? Let's look at some examples. After 30 years in the company, Martin is finally out to grass and looking forward to his long-awaited rest. The old printer has been put out to grass. We have a new, more efficient model now. In conversation, the phrase can be both humorous and affectionate, depending on the context. It's not typically used for formal situations but can be a light-hearted way to address retirement or a change of pace. I hope this explanation helps you understand and use the phrase, out to grass, with confidence. English is full of such colorful idioms, and they can really add flavor to your conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of the English language.